Hey guys. I am running a little bit behind, but I wanted to try to do a little bit of a quick video. Hopefully. <laughs> um, my thought today, I was going to do a video earlier and didn't get a chance. I had a call and I didn't get to do it, but I wanted to try to do it real quick. I'm on my way to church now. We're still in revival. Super thankful for that. Um, and of course, I'm running behind. You're going to hear me say that probably a lot because <laughs> I've got five hundred million things to do. But um, I just thank God for his blessings. And that's what I want to talk to you about is when you get your mind and your heart set on God, look out because he's fixing to bless you like crazy. And it's, it's unreal. It's, it's amazing to me because <clears throat> I give a little bit my background. I was saved when I was like nine or 10 and I'm thankful that, you know, God didn't really have to fight with me or like anything like that. Like I was very easily persuaded to come to Christ. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that I had family and, you know, people that were praying for me. You know, that I was exposed. You know, that somebody taught me about the Lord very young. I'm very thankful for that. Um, I didn't go to church regularly. You know, my parents did not go to church regularly. Um, they would drop me off at, like, vacation Bible school, and I would go to church camp is what I called it. Um, the people who actually came to school and took me to church, where I got saved, it was them. It was the same, you know, people. And I would go to camp with them for like a week out of the summer. And I've done that for like eight years, eight summers in a row, and I loved it. And I'm so thankful for those people for the work that they do. And that's that was my experience with it, okay? My... My parents didn't go to church every, you know, Sunday. They wasn't regular church goers. Um, my grandparents were, my mama and papa were, and they sometimes would take me, and I know they were praying for me, and I'm so thankful that they did. And my experience as I got older, when God actually, he made a way for me to get to church, and I started, he just made a way to where I was around people to where they were inviting me to church and at first I was like I don't need to go you know I I've been saved I know the Lord I have you know I've accepted Christ I don't need to go to church there's you know there's no reason for that you know I got what I need I went with that excuse for a while and then it's like I finally got honest about it honest with myself and admitted it to myself you won't go because you know what's going to happen when you get there you've not been living like you know you should be and you, that's all going to hit you you're going to get there and you're going to be faced with the life that you've been living and you're going to need to repent from it Okay, I didn't want to do that, of course. You know, when you're in the world, you you don't want to come, come out from under the world. Well, thankfully, people were praying for me. They kept praying for me. They kept inviting me to church. And I finally went. And being saved... And then being saved and being actively in church is like night and day. I've heard so many things. I've used excuses myself of, you know, you've heard people say, well, I could live just as good, you know, out of church. Or I could live better than them people, them people's hypocrites and all this stuff. And it's, it's crazy how the devil works and how he tricks people. So let me, let me tell you a little something. I'm an active member of church. I go pretty well every time the doors are open. 
I need to be there every time the doors are open. I'm an active member of a church. It is my responsibility, I feel, to be there. And not only that, but it's the very least I can do for God, for what He's done for me. And it's a great help to me. It, it's, it will change your life. And if, you, if you're not actively in church and, and truly trying to live for the Lord, you're not going to know what I'm talking about. It's, it's not a routine. It's not just a place to go to be seen or to socialize or nothing like that. It's a lifestyle. It's a life choice. And God gave us that great gift of the church. He said, fail not to assemble yourselves together. You know, and I'll have to find the scripture because I'm not sure exactly how it says it. But I know we are supposed to be adjoined to a church. We are supposed to be going. And it helps us. It's out of sight, out of mind is how I always put it. If you're trying to live for the Lord, you love the Lord, or you're saved, you are saved into a great work. Join yourself to a church somewhere and be about God's business. And I assure you, He will bless you like it's ridiculous. But as times went on, I learned something else. I here recently learned something else. And it's it's going to sound silly. And some of y'all, if you're active in church, you're going to be like, well, duh. But it's a learning experience. And we all have our own journey. And we all have to learn, you know, our own way. God deals with us, you know, in our own way or whatever. In his own way with us. Each unique person has their own unique relationship, I feel like, with God. We're all different. You know, just like if you have children, no one child's the same. But we're his children, we're not the same. I learned. <laughs> Actually, God thankfully had mercy on me and dealt with me and finally got through to me through all the devil's lies and tricks and blah, blah, blah. God will not bless over sin. You're praying for things or you want things or you know whatever is going on or you're dealing with things what have you got in your life between you and God get the sin out of the way get it cleaned up repent and I'll speak from experience God dealt with me and said you know enough's enough you're not living right you're still holding on to things of the world it's got to end. And I thought, God, how am I going to do this? God, I was scared. I thought, God, how am I going to do that? How am I going to change my life and change from what I've been doing forever? You know, how can I do that? God, how? How? Well, stepped out on faith. I'd done what I knew I had to do. I repented. <laughs> And God, literally, it's like he changed my mind and just me. I don't even want to live the way I was living. It's like I repented, I got the sin out of my life, and he took the desire away for the sin. And that's the thing. God will change you like It gets me so worked up. Like, I don't know. I don't have the words for it. But God loves you and wants to give you an amazing, great life. And if you will step out on faith, if you'll just come to him, he will clean you up, change your pers like your perspective, your life, your mind, and you're happier. I can't believe how happy I am because I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be hard trying to change my life, you know, trying to, trying to live right, you know, this, this is going to be hard. I'm going to have to change the way I'm living. And it's not been hard. It's been joyful. I've, it's like when you get saved, how you feel like a weight slip. That's what it feels like. God will lift that weight of sin and he will help you. And it's, it's amazing. Like, I don't know. God's just been like blowing me away. And I just got to share it with y'all. So that's my thing. Get sent out of your life. Get somewhere. Get to a church somewhere. And let God help you. It's a huge help to you. And he has one for you. A specific one for you.
they're not all going to work, but he's got one for you. So please do find you one. Get in there and get the sin out of your life. Be happy and be blessed. God wants to bless you. But if you guys are seeing this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you later. I've got to get in here. <sighs> Great things are going to happen. Pages, like, share, all that stuff. You guys know the big spill if you've seen any of my videos. I love you guys and have a great weekend and I'll see you later.